But we had one of those old-timey record players, you know, when I was growing up. We played a lot of Sinatra songs. Phrasing was, I think, one of his main things. And I feel like I learned a lot about phrasing listening to Frank. Saturday night is the loneliest night of the week. He sang it like he felt it, and he didn't yeah. worry about behind the beat or front of the beat or whatever. He could sing it either way. And that's the feel that you have to have to be able to do that. He was kind of like the rest of us, you know, one of the wild musician singers that liked to, you know, raise hell and party and have a good time. And I think he did that. <laughs> but he was also a great musician and uh, always had fantastic instrumentation behind him. He used the best arrangers out there. He knew what he was doing. Of course, Hank Williams was an incredible writer, sang with so much feeling. He was, you know, a, a sick man. He was from the time he was born until he died, he was a sick man. He had a bad back and he was always on some kind of pain medications or alcohol or whatever it took to get him up to the show. He had a hard life, died at 29 but uh, nobody wrote any better songs than Hank. It was the simplicity, uh, a melody and a line that uh, anybody could understand. He didn't get deep, he kept it straight down the middle. Knowing Hank, he could have done anything he wanted to do. Great entertainer, great writer, good yeah. singer, then nobody can compete with him. And I still do three or four Hank Williams songs every night. Me and the boys, Lucas and Micah, just did an album, and uh, I think we had seven Hank Williams songs in there. That's how much Hank Williams influenced me.